a rat at my neck. Suck it on the tuck and sneeze. Suck it, 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 Hello, people of the world, and today I'm going to be talking about Mario games that may come out in 2022. Now, I don't, I don't follow leaks because, I mean, I guess it might be pretty obvious because leaks suck. There's no point in following leaks. I'm going to get that out of the way now. If you're looking at leaks because you really want to know what's coming up, you're bored, have no games to play, it's not worth it because regardless, if the game actually is real, it's going to come out eventually anyway, so why try to see it earlier for a leak? It's pointless, especially since it's, it might be fake and you might end up getting disappointed in the end. So, yeah, just quick disclaimer, I do not recommend looking at leaks, and might make it not oh so fun. But, I just wanted to speculate and try to predict what Mario games will come out this year. Basically, every year the Nintendo Switch has been out, there's been at least, at minimum, three Mario games released, and that's including ports and other various titles that may have released, but every year for the Nintendo Switch there's been at least three released. And there's not a whole bunch they can port over unless they're gonna, like, start porting over GameCube and Wii stuff, which I'd probably be happy with. But, for the most part, there's nothing else on the Wii U, which is where they've mostly been taking games from. So far, we've only had one Mario game announced for this year, and that is Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I believe that comes out next month, at the time of this video releasing. And I honestly have no interest in Mario Sparks of Hope. Because I didn't really like the first one all that much. It's a, well, a good quality game. It's surprising to come out of Ubisoft. Since the last thing I can say that I genuinely enjoyed that they made. Was probably like Rayman Legends back in 2013. And that was really great. And then um, I played Mario plus Rabbids. And it was, oh, it was a good quality. Just not my type of game. Maybe I'll give it another go and I'll get Sparks of Hope. But I'm not getting Sparks of Hope at launch. I just don't have interest in it at this moment. So if there's going to be three Mario games this year, that leaves two more slots. And my goal of this video is to see what most likely would be. But first I want to start off what I want it to be. Now, the footage I'm showing you is from Mario Super Sluggers 2008. It was a Wii game I had and I loved it. It was It's one of my favorite games of all time. And it's very important to me. And I don't see them porting it. They ported it to the Wii U, but I don't see them porting it. So it's been over 10 years. So it's about time for a new Mario Baseball. But I honestly don't think they're going to release a Mario Baseball this year. Maybe next year, but I don't think we have a good chances of getting it in this year. Another one I want to see is Mario and Luigi. However, there's not really any reason to bring that back because... I guess Nintendo just, since the last few things sold terribly on a console that was already going out, it's, they probably won't bring it out again, which is a shame because I really love the Mario and Luigi series. And Alpha Dream is gone, too, but they still own Mario and Luigi, so they can do whatever they want with it. And what they want with it is probably nothing. So I don't think we can expect a Mario and Luigi game. And now, another one that I really want is Mario Strikers, a brand new Mario Strikers. We had one for the GameCube back in like 2005. We had one for the Wii, Strikers Charge, in like 2007. And they're pretty great titles. Mario, soccer, very intense. Like probably one of the most intense Mario games. Up there, Bowser's Fury. I'm surprised Bowser's Fury is as intense as it is. But Nintendo's finally you know, it's, it's not all about the kids, because Nintendo's main audience is 20-year-olds. So their goal, I guess, is to make games that 20-year-olds will enjoy, but 
make sure it's still kid appropriate. And I'm personally, I'm fine with that. I don't need Mario to be super edgy. But with stuff like Strikers, I enjoy the more edginess of it. It gives the game its own personality and really makes me want to have it back. And I actually think that's actually my number one prediction. That's the game I think that's going to come out this year. I think if we're going to get a Mario Sports game this year, it's going to be Strikers. It's got to be Strikers. If it's not Strikers, I'll cry. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Strikers. And my name is Striker, and that's where the name comes from, if you guys didn't know. My name, Striker, came from Mario Strikers. Because Mario Strikers is just sick, man. So I had to name myself after it, you know. For the most part, there is not much else for them to do other than, like, Strikers and maybe something else, like baseball. So we could very well get baseball, but I doubt we get two sports games in one year. So, you know, it probably makes sense for uh, Mario and Luigi and Striker. But speaking by how Mario and Luigi's probably not going to come back ever, if definitely not anytime soon, I doubt it will come out this year. Striker seems like a pretty likely possibility because Next Level Games hasn't been working on anything since like 2019. This is when Luigi's Mansion 3 released, and I'm sure they already had another project started. And they've recently been purchased by Nintendo. So maybe they just are starting out, but on a new project, I, I doubt it though. They're probably were working on something in between that time. So I really hope that Strikers comes out this year. But I think that if we're going to get a sequel to the Mario Odyssey, it's going to be this year or next year. If it's not this year or next year, we're just not going to get a sequel. But I think this year is our best bet for getting a Mario Odyssey too. I really think that might come out. That's my second most likely thing. But number one is definitely Strikers. Number two has got to be Odyssey too. But... I'd be perfectly fine without an Odyssey 2 because Odyssey 1 was just so great that I can keep playing it over and over again and probably be a-okay with not having another one. So I'm pretty good with 3D Mario for a while. So yeah, that's basically what I think. I think that we are most likely going to get Strikers this year and we have a eh, kind of in the middle chance of getting Mario Odyssey 2. And I have one more prediction of something I think might come this year, but it's a lot less likely, and that's Mario Kart 9. There's been rumors going around about a new Mario Kart, like Mario Kart 10, because I guess technically Tor could be Mario Kart 9, but I don't think they'd do that. Maybe, maybe not. It probably will be called Mario Kart 9, and not 10. And some people think it's going to be the Nintendo Kart, which is a bunch of Nintendo characters. I'm pretty sure it's going to be called Mario Kart, not Nintendo Kart. Even if there are a bunch of Nintendo characters in it, it's not going to be called Nintendo Kart. Because Mario Kart is a name that sells. Since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has been selling so well, I don't think they're going to make a new one for the Switch. But if there was any time for one to release, it'd be this year. If it doesn't come out this year, there's even slimmer chance of it happening next year. But I really don't think Mario Kart 9 will be for this console. But if it had to be any year, it's this one. But like I said, Mario Strikers is probably my number one most likely to come out this year. And we're probably going to have a Nintendo Direct like next month or March, latest April. We're going to have a Nintendo Direct in the early year. I can almost guarantee that. If there's not, then I feel dumb, but I'm pretty sure there'll be one before E3. And not like in May. It's going to be like at least a good two months before E3. So we'll probably find out about the next Mario game soon. But then again, Nintendo could just only release Sparks of Hope and not have another Mario game. So think about that too. Because we have we do have a pretty decent amount of Mario games. But I'm honestly happy with Mario getting anything. And if they decide not to focus on Mario this year or for the rest of the console's lifespan, I'm personally fine with that because there's a lot of other series that need attention. Like Pikmin. And I guess not really Metroid since it has Dread and now it's getting 4. And that's what people are so happy about that. But yeah, that's what I think about Mario in 2022. Um, I know I've been uploading a lot of Infinite Dimensions lately, but there'll be more stuff like this coming soon. Instead of like, just Infinite Dimensions, because I know that that's not going to interest every person in the world. But yeah. That's, this has been a pretty cool and crazy radical topic. 
and next time I want to cover Sonic. I want to like make predictions for Sonic Frontiers and stuff, and just have like a kind of discussion about it. It'll be probably a lot shorter than this because I'm not going to cover like everything that's going to come out for Sonic this year like I am Mario because we already know what's going to come out for Sonic this year. And all you can really do is predict what's going to be in the game, which is something that everybody else is already doing. But I haven't seen a lot of people do videos on what's going to come with Mario this year. Maybe like Nintendo Land, but other than that, I haven't seen one. So I guess there's not really much else to talk about. Later.